So my name is Karen Bradley. I am a Member of Parliament in the United Kingdom. I sit in the House of Commons and I represent a constituency called Staffordshire Moorlands, which no one's ever heard of Staffordshire Moorlands, but it's in the middle of the country, just south of Manchester and just north of a city called Stoke-on-Trent, where all of your cups and saucers come from. So I was elected in 2010, so I've now done my 13 years. I don't know if that's an unlucky number, but yeah, I've had 13 years in the House of Commons. I have a really strange history of getting into politics because I didn't do anything political at all in my youth. I studied for a degree in mathematics and then I went into finance and I worked as a chartered accountant and a chartered tax advisor. And then I got the opportunity to go and work as an advisor to the shadow treasury team. It was a conservative party, I'm a conservative member of parliament, and I got the chance to go and work for the shadow treasury team and I caught this political bug. And I realised that I could change things, that I could change the law, and this law that I used to spend my time pouring over to work out how I might make sure that a client structured their tax affairs so that when they bought a company they put it in the right place, they got the right tax treatment. I suddenly realised I could change that law. I could make a difference to people's lives in a way I simply couldn't as an accountant. And so I just caught this bug for politics and I found myself within seven years um, being elected to the House of Commons and here I am today. As politicians, we might own the rule of law, we might own the laws, but actually it's those faith groups and those faith leaders that actually have the reach into the communities that we represent. They're the ones that are, are on the ground working with our constituents, working with the people who vote us in, knowing the things that are happening to them. It's our faith groups that are um, putting roofs for the homeless. They are feeding the hungry. And in the case of my constituency, it's the faith groups that are looking after the refugees we host, in particular those Ukrainian families that aren't able to be at home at the moment because of the illegal invasion and are now living, some of them, in the United Kingdom. And it's the faith groups that are helping them. It is those faith groups working with politicians and with policy makers. We can make such a bigger difference to people's lives if we work together. <laughs>